Dear friends in Christ, after nearly two years of consultation and much prayer and reflection, I am now announcing the strategic plan for the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis. The strategic plan outlines significant changes that are necessary to ensure the health of our local church, this Archdiocese, for us today and for generations to come. It is important to remember that the overall motivation for our planning is not purely one of good stewardship of very limited resources, though that is certainly a part of the vision. Rather, the overall intent is to ensure a vital, dynamic church for the future as a communion of faith, hope, and love, actively reaching out in this local community to spread the gospel in word and in deed. This long-range planning process, while unique and historic, is driven by a singular mission that has remained constant throughout the millennia, to make the name of Jesus Christ known and loved by all. In formulating the recommendations they made to me regarding planning decisions, the Strategic Planning Task Force was guided by the seven principles which I laid out at the beginning of the planning process to keep this process true to the mission of the Church. We all want to ensure that we establish and nourish Church communities which meet the sacramental needs of the faithful, which offer formation opportunities to deepen our faith, and which provide the pastoral care we can rely on throughout our lives. We must also use our gifts to take care of those who have the greatest needs, especially the sick, the poor, the marginalized, and the stranger. The task force also considered the input of thousands of people from across the archdiocese, pastors and other clergy, parish and Catholic school leaders, as well as staff members, parishioners, and Catholic school parents, all shared their insights at meetings and via the internet, voicemail, and letters. I want to thank everyone who has participated in this planning process. In particular, I wish to thank those pastors who developed detailed proposals in their deaneries. I'm also grateful to the task force members who dedicated an enormous amount of time and thought to make thorough and carefully considered strategic planning recommendations. I am personally convinced that as we work together in the coming months and years, this strategic plan will bring about a revitalized local church. As you read or heard about the specific changes outlined in the strategic plan, I hope you will be open to understanding why these changes as a whole need to be made, even if you find it difficult to agree with any particular change. Some members of this local church will be affected more directly by the changes than others. We must all be sensitive to the needs of those who find these decisions difficult to bear. Please reach out to those directly affected and offer them assistance in adjusting to the change. Please know of my own personal concern and my prayers for members of this local church who will eventually suffer the loss of a beloved parish home or parish and Catholic school employees who are worried about losing their jobs and others deeply impacted by these changes. In point of fact, the strategic plan will be implemented over the next several years. Its direction is set, but it will take time to be realized. The future will hold challenges and opportunities as the changes outlined in the strategic plan are implemented. I ask for your prayers, patience, and understanding as we go through these changes together. For 2,000 years, the Catholic Church has adapted to changing circumstances while remaining true to the core teachings of her faith. We too will weather the changes of our time with steadfast belief. Please join me in praying that this strategic plan will unite us in working toward a greater future for the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis. Our patron, St. Paul, reminds us that we are called to be one body in Christ. United, we can respond to the challenges and opportunities before us with faith, hope, and love. May God bless you always.